<clears throat> hey guys, Tammy here, and I got my cousin Crystal with me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and guess where we're at? You're never gonna guess. Barbecutie. That's right. We are at a barbecue drive-through restaurant, and it's called Barbecutie, and that's the cutest thing I've ever fucking heard. They did a play on words. It's supposed to be barbecue. And they added a T. Barbecue. So we're here, and uh, oh my god, this menu looks great. They got a lot of stuff on the menu. They got uh, smoked chicken, smoked turkey, beef brisket, uh, baked potatoes, fried pickles, baby back ribs, smoked wings. Oh yeah, Crystal. They got some. It's called Little Cuties for eight years and younger. <gasps> little, uh, little mini uh, barbecue sandwiches. That is really cute. I think I'm gonna get me some smoked chicken. You can't go wrong with smoked chicken. I don't know if I want the pork or the brisket. Get the two meat. Get the two meat option. But it's $19.99. Crystal, let's splurge. I got it. Then get the four four meats. Bitch, that's $26.99. That's pushing it a little too much. All right, I'll get the pork and the brisket with, of course, cold slaw. Cold slaw. You get the pork, brisket, cold slaw. And uh, them... Um, Oh, listen to the listen to the country sides they got: mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, baked beans, white, white beans, green beans, turnip greens, real cream corn, French fries, onion rings, chili, cold slaw, potato salad, toss salad, sliced tomatoes, cinnamon apples, mac and cheese, fried okra, Brunswick stew, cornbread dressing, fried pickles. Mac and cheese. What is Brunswick stew? It's got an asterisk by it. I don't even know what an asterisk is. <laughs> I'm gonna ask the lady up front. What the hell? Is a Brunswick stew. I never heard of that. Ask her what the asterisk means, too. Brunswick stew. Well, hell, I'd just like to order. And then I would like um, some uh, banana pudding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get a little dessert here. Why don't we? Hey, y'all asked a bunch of really good questions on Instagram. So why don't we go ahead and answer one of those? Okay. Oh, first off. Crystal and I are going on tour. That's right. Around the world. Well, right now, just America. But we are going to take over the world. Okay? And we will, hopefully, be coming to a city near you. Crystal, you got the city dates in here? Is that us? I don't know. How you doing? I'm alright. How are you? There you go. Move up, bitch. I'm pretty good. Hey, can I get the two meat sampler? Yes, with pulled pork and beef brisket. All right, what two sides would you like? Let's do cold slaw and mac and cheese. Would you like cornbread or toast? Cornbread. Cornbread. Cornbread, please. All right, what else? And then could I please get the uh, smoked chicken breast? The what? Are you on the plate or the sandwich? Oh, oh, the plate. What two sides? I'll do um, fried okra, mac and cheese. Cornbread or toast? I'll do cornbread. All right, what else? And could I add cream corn and cornbread dressing? Do you want the gravy on the cornbread dressing? Yes, please. All righty. And then could I also do a side of fried pickles and ranch? Is that going to be all for you? And then a... Um, What'd you want? Something, uh, banana pudding. Banana pudding. And something to drink. A large sweet tea. Which one? We got Coke. Do you got Coke? Yeah. A large Coke. Is that it? That'll do me. Fifty-seven forty-nine. Thank you. Thank you. She tried to cut you off. Is that it? No. <sighs> Fifty-seven dollars. All right, we're going on tour. You got the tour dates in here now? No. Okay. Well, you got to look in the in the, on the internet. Just go to my website, eatmytrash.com, and look at and look at the tour dates. Several of the dates are already sold out. I am not adding any more shows.
So get it while you can. Let's go ahead and answer another question. Let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. Tammy, Crystal, have you ever had a man with no teeth eat your pussy? <clears throat> How was it? She has. You want to go ahead and tell them? Well, first of all, everybody knows I only have half my teeth. Yeah. Top real, bottom not real. And I can remove them for any kind of, can I say? Yeah. Oral, oral pleasure. She'll just pop them out. Now, I knew this young man named Freddie. And I say Freddie, but his name was Freddie. I called him Freddie, right? And I had met him down at the tavern. Had teeth at the time. When I seen him up at the bar, talking to me, sitting next to me on the bar stool, whatnot, had teeth. Go back to keep my, that. Keep that in mind. Go back to my car. He says, "You ready for this?" I said, "What you, what you mean?" Pops him out right in front of me. Now I'm not gonna lie. I was horrified. Yeah. Because he went from looking like a normal man to Grandpa, Grandpa Frederick. And Grandpa still love to eat pussy. They do, but that's not my forte. Yeah. You like you, you like a man in his mid twenties, late twenties. And he was he was proud of of the the no teeth. I said, Frederick, just put him back in for a few minutes. And we was kissing and making out, and he was sucking my titty and stuff. And I said, well, you know, and I always heard this term, YOLO. You only live once. Yeah. I said, Frederick. I've always said that to her. Frederick popped them out and started sucking on my titty with no teeth. And I'm telling you, it was the greatest pleasure of my life. And started yeah. kissing down my stomach. <clears throat> Gets down to my pussy pussy area. The sloppiest head I've ever gotten. And felt so good. Was warm. Mm. Was juicy. Mm. Sloppy. Mm. Just slobbing on it. Just <laughs> And I'm calling out, Frederick, Frederick, <laughs> Frederick. And I tell you, I come so hard like I never did. And that's the thing. With a man with the teeth, they're not willing to get up there no, like this. No, they're not. Because they're afraid the, they're going to bite. And the teeth are in the way. A man with no teeth? Teeth ain't in the way. She came home and told me that. And I swear to God, I have been looking for a man with no teeth ever since. That was years ago. And I, had, I hadn't found one. I haven't found one since. <laughs> how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Oh, my God. Woohoo! How are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> are you, are you, yeah. yeah. You I love you, oh. honey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Did you give me a discount? Honeys, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And I just got a new phone yesterday. We're, fi we're filming a video right now for YouTube. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's your name? Brandy. Brandy, nice to meet you. I love you. I love you too, honeys. I just oh never met somebody famous. Aw. Ain't nobody famous came through. Thank you. I send I send your videos to my mama. She's just like, where do you find this stuff? What's your favorite video she does? God, there's so many. The roach titty slapping. That's gotta be right. Everybody loves it. It's gotta be the titty. Everybody loves that. Everybody loves that one. Everybody. This is <laughs> Do y'all got roaches in there? Y'all got roaches in there? I'll come titty slap them. We can probably find you a few out back. <laughs> we can probably, yeah. Well, I'm, I'll be here later. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna film it. Let me eat my lunch first. Yes, you can. Let me eat my lunch first. I just get so proud when people recognize you, Tammy. Crystal almost cries. Oh Crystal God. almost cries. Right. Let's do it, honeys. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, and hey, what's the Brunswick stew? Girl, it is, I don't really don't know. It's like got chicken, pork in it. It's got corn. I didn't used to like it, but it is so good now. I eat it. We just made a fresh, fresh batch too. Really? For like two hours. It's got a simmer. Y'all should come back up. We will try it next time. Okay. Brunswick stew. We Brunswick. gotta try it. Brunswick stew. We gotta try it. To think that you and somebody who was queen 
of the trailer park, everybody knowing your name. Now everybody in the whole city knows you. Probably the whole world. World. I'm worldwide. I mean, there's no denying you was always popular. Yeah, prom queen. How you doing? <laughs> All well, I right. Love you so much. I love you too. Hey, you'll be seeing more of me. I'm gonna come through here and get that Brunswick stew. Girl, I can't, I'll be on, I'll be up there all the time. All right. You got a discount for me, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you. you. Can I get a discount too? You sure can. Okay. Baby. He hell yeah. Thank you. Come through here. Okay. Thank right. you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Oh, she gonna give us discounts. That's so nice. That is really wonderful when you get so famous people give you a discount. They shouldn't have to do that. Nope. You know, I I, I would have been fine without the discount. I really would have. But she gave me one, and hell, I took it. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say nothing. We need to find some shade, Crystal. And there ain't a lick of it nowhere. Let's go behind this building here. Because I, 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 it has to be good. It has to be... I got to have shade. You guys know that. Well, we're in shade right here. We could do this. Being famous is like having just a coupon all the time. I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Because it really is. It's like, once you get famous, you just have a permanent coupon for everywhere. Everybody always goes and pushes that, you know, 10% off, 20% off, and that adds up. Sometimes I'll get the senior citizen, and I get mad because I say, I'm not a senior citizen. She gets real mad at that. I'm elderly, but I'm not a senior. Right. Damn, that food smells good. Shit. I oh smell corn. I smell corn. Do you not like cream corn, Crystal? It's something too creamy for me. We gotta get some air flowing in here. Yeah, it's pretty. It got hot quick. It may be the winter time. Huh. I'm still hot thinking about Frederick. Don't that sound like something, you guys? I knew as soon as somebody asked that question, I said, Me. That, that bitch right there. Me. Okay. Who's this? Comes with a little, uh, little pancake. That's your meats. Damn, this smells good, Crystal. That's a lot of meat. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's mine. Barbecue sauce, little pancake. That's the best of barbecue chicken. So this is mine. Woo! Okay. Okay. Let's uh that's my little fried pickles. I'm gonna wait on those. Did it come with the ranch? There's my cream corn. Ranch, okay. I expected homemade ranch, but that's fine. We'll try that. Cornbread dressing. That's did, it. Did oh, we get my, beef, my banana pudding. Banana pudding. And it's got a spoon. Look how cute that is. That's really cute. With a little dollop on top. Okay. Oh, my God. I got to dig in. This smells good. Okay. I didn't order a pancake. Well, that's the little, uh, that's the little, uh, what's it come with? Uh, not a pancake. That's the little cor a cornbread pancake. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try my mac and cheese first. And Daryl and I uh, came here when y'all come here about a week ago, and uh, I, that mukbang is on my Patreon. That's for my uh, uh, exclusive secret mukbang club on my Patreon. Uh, but I got something different, so I'm trying something different. And we went to a different location. Pro tip: take this off. And then you have a, this one. You can plate. also use it for extra storage. That's what I'm doing. That mac and cheese is slapping. That mac and cheese is slapping. I'm going in on the coleslaw first. Mmm! Oh, damn. Damn. That's good. Mmm. Crunchy. Mmm. And the tea is perfect. You know how sometimes you get tea, and the tea's hot, and it melts all your ice, and you ain't got no ice in there? She did it perfectly. She did it perfectly. It's crushed ice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, let me get in here. 
that mac and cheese is that's that's really good. Mm. This is hard food to tap. Why? I'm gonna try. It. I'll tap the here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is your cream corn. Mmm. Damn! <laughs> Let me try the mac and cheese. Mm. I ain't got much to say because I'm just eating. I hope one day we could do more international uh, mm -hmm. things. Maybe Austria. Because you know, in Austria, they they have a lot of barbecue there. They say, put another shrimp on the barbie. I have heard that. Well, you guys know that Crystal Lime went international what, a month ago? Two months ago? Something like that. Where we were in Mexico and we did an international month bank. Well, now everybody's saying, Tammy, go more international. Go to Ireland. Go to, uh, 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 what's another country? Fin Finland. Finland. One is to go do mukbangs all over the world. Listen, we will. In Ireland, they say, the luck of the Irish. See, I speak every language. She's always been uh, bilingual. Bilingual for a lot of countries. Always. Mmm. Mmm. They got two different kinds of sauce. That wasn't what the W means. Mmm. All right. The barbecue chicken is different than I expected. Now listen, it's just a cooked chicken breast. I thought it was going to be like, you know, smoked on the bone, in the smoker, you know. Um, ooh, it's really fall apart. Soft. So that's good. The sauce with the W is good. Mine already has sauce on it. Mmm. It's still really good. Mmm. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was a good idea. I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> mm. answer another question before I dig into my sides. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Tammy, Crystal, would you rather masturbate with a cucumber or a toothbrush and why? <clears throat> Great question. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to go with cucumber. And hear me out. For everybody saying, you know, everybody mad at me for picking cucumber over toothbrush. Cuc uh, cucumber has more width. And it's smoother. Now, yeah, I could use a toothbrush and clean out my hole, you know, and, and get two birds, one stone. I could come and clean at the same time and save time. I understand that. You know, it'll scrub all the insides out, all that gunk up there. It could get it real good. And I, and I get that. But a cucumber's going to make me nut harder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? And, I, and I'm all about nothing. That's what it's all about. What about you? Well, I'm not. I'm going to say the opposite. Okay. Of course, my default would be cucumber, but something small and thin, and that has a, a bristle, bristle, and you can just get right up in there in the G spot. Do this right on the G spot. Yeah, you're gonna be nothing hard. You're and you're not wrong. There's really no wrong answer here. There's not. It depends on how you're feeling. If you're feeling real freaky, toothbrush. Yeah. If you just want regular freak. Yeah, exactly. You're a freak either way. You are. You're you're a freaky either way. Either way. Because if you're putting stuff that ain't a dick in you, that's freaky. 
Yeah. Well, it's 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 normal to us, but to normal people, they say that's freaky. And that's what you do. You teach people that this stuff that everybody considers so freaky ain't that freaky. Right. Hell, I'll stick any, I'll stick anything up there. And you should. Well, that's what a hole's for. And, and you know I'm not wrong. Okay, I'm gonna try the uh, fried pickles. Let me first try this ranch here. Now, now, I was hoping to get a little canister of homemade fresh ranch. And what I got was Ken's Ranch. And I've had this before. I don't remember loving it, but let me try it here. I don't like it, but let, let's try it with the... You gotta have good ranch. Okay? Okay. So first off, the fried pickles come in this little canister, right there, little boat, okay? And they're golden to a crisp, okay? Let me pick one up and, and uh, show you here. Let's do this one. Looks like a nugget, <laughs> but it's not. It's a fried pickle. And it's still hot, man. They made these fresh. Speaking of cucumbers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Even with Ken's Ranch. The flavor of the pickle is really sour and strong, which is good. I like that. The coating is crispy. The coating is crispy. It'd be better if it had... Okay, it'd be a 10 if it had good ranch. This is about a 6. Because of the ranch? Yeah. I don't think Ken will be happy to hear that. Well, he can suck my nuts. Make that a ranch, Ken. I'll call in the corporate and tell him. Don't put a product out that's half-ass, Ken. It's really not hard to do. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to try my, um, oh, let me try the cornbread dressing. Now, I love cornbread dressing. Let me answer a question before I do the cornbread dressing. Here we go. Oh, this one was a doozy. Y'all ready for this uh -oh. question? Some idiot said, Tammy. How should I tell my girlfriend I want her to get implants? You don't. You set your little scrawny ass down and you shut the fuck up and you suck on the titties you got. It's really not that hard. Stop being a little bitch. Or you could say... Honey, I'm leaving you because I'm an asshole. Exactly. That's how you tell her. Baby, I want you to feel insecure because I think your boobs should be bigger. Fuck you. As someone with giant hooters, you don't want her to have the back problems that we've dealt with our whole lives. Whole life. As someone who has had desirable titties all of my adult life, you don't want someone. Listen, she's going to walk around. And men are literally going to be trying to suck them in Kroger. That's what they do to me. Okay? Be happy with what you got and love her for who she is. And stop being a fucking jackass. Stop being a pussy. That's the word. Stop being a pussy. I'd like to get that man's name so I can curse him out on my own. Caleb. Oh, Caleb. He's probably 20 years old. Oh, I wish my girlfriend had bigger teeth. Oh, I wish she, wish you had a fucking brain. I wish she thought you had a bigger dick. I wish she thought you had cleaner balls. I mean, do you want me to keep going, Caleb? Mm. 
Okay. Cornbread dressing. Okay. It smells good. It smells like Thanksgiving. Mm. Doesn't it? I can't smell it. You can't? I'm too busy eating. First off, I like the moisture level. Are you cold in here? I'm good. I like the moisture level on it. It's very moist. I don't like cornbread dressing that is dry as fuck. Okay? So, we're off to a good start. It's got the gravy on there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is packed with flavor. That is packed with flavor. That is packed with flavor. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Let me try a little bit of it. Delicious. Barbecue is doing it right on the sides. <laughs> Your stovetop is better, though. Yeah. When I make my stovetop homemade, stovetop stuffing in the box, it does taste better than this. <laughs> but we're at a restaurant and we're reviewing it. It's good. I'd eat it. Mm -hmm. I would not order cold slaw. Mm. Cold slaw was your favorite? Mm-hmm. I'm tearing this up. Better than KFC? Cold slaw? Um, I'd say about on the same level. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to say better than KFC. KFC is the best. And KFC may be watching. Mm -hmm. And we're really trying to get that sponsor. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. email Tammy at, um, at her email. Yep. It's, say, hey, it's KFC. It's down below in the description. All my links are always down below. Ticket links, Patreon links, calendar links, email links. If you wanted to sponsor me, email me. You think that KFC would have picked this up when we did a review of their fresh baked cookies? I know. I know. You know what's something? Crystal, sometimes I think I was born too late. Hear me out. I think if Colonel Sanders was alive today, mm -hmm. I have no doubt he'd have me in all his commercials. I mean, I would be the spokesperson and the face of KFC, and I know that, if he was alive. You're right. And also, if Hugh Hefner was alive, I would be Playmate Centerfold, and I know that. Of the century. Not just of the month. Century. And I truly believe that in my heart, if he was still alive. So, I was born too late. And I'm trying to create, I'm trying to take over the world on my own. And that's what I'm here doing. So thank you for supporting my dream. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a little sentimental on you guys. Sentimental. Let's answer another question before I uh, 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 dig into my cream corn, okay? Tammy, Crystal, what are you both going to do with your tax refund? Great mm. question. So, I, Daryl, is coming to visit me here in Nashville, and I'm going to take my baby to Red Lobster's. Damn. And he's going to get him a shrimp scampi. Because he's been calling me, baby, I'm craving a shrimp scampi. I'm craving a shrimp scampi. And I said, baby, wait till we get that tax re returned, and I'll take your ass two nights in a row. Did you tell him that? Yeah. So we're going to go to Red Lobster's for Valentine's Day. Or whenever we get our tax return. return. I don't know. <laughs> but even if we celebrate in, you know, after Valentine's Day, this is going to be for Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? So that's what that's what we're doing. What are you doing? Uh, this year, I don't think I'm getting a tax return. I got a letter that said, "You owe uh, back taxes. We're taking all your future." I didn't realize you had to pay all the time. I think you do. I've got it automated. I don't know how it works. I just go to H and R Block and they take care of everything. Well, apparently, you're supposed to pay every single year. 
And you hadn't been paying? Probably about three years. Well, you want to go to Red Lobster's with us? I don't want you to sit at home. Yeah, I'll go with y'all. Okay, you just pay me back whenever you get your, whenever you get. Well, it's going to be a while. That's fine. They added interest and fees to it. Damn, you really fucked up. <laughs> I thought, government, stay out of my money. Well, know? that's a whole, Crystal, that's a whole nother fucking video. Don't get me started on that. They said, oh, you're making this much on YouTube. We get to get this much. No, you don't. I didn't see the U.S. government making a video. Is the U.S. government here pressing record for us? Nope. Uploading for us? Doing the doing the work behind the scenes? No, they're not. Is the U.S. government going through a drive through and getting recognized? No. We are. Stay out of my money, U.S. government. We need to do a TikTok about that. Let's plan that. But you know what? Once the U.S. government gets its eyes on it, we're gonna, they're probably going to shut us down. They don't want the information out there. Try and shut me down. Show up to my house, I'll whoop your ass. All right, we're going to answer one more question, and then I got a little surprise for Crystal. For me? Tammy, Crystal, how's the food? What could be better? Food is wonderful. How's your brisket? It's real good. Food is wonderful. Um, I mean, look what I did. She tore it apart. Destroyed it. I need to get to eating. The only thing that could have been better for me is better ranch. And that ain't their fault. It's really not. That's Ken's fault. Yeah. Sauce are great. Okay. Sides are great. Sauce is great. All right, Crystal. Let me take a bite of this now. I so, so I met a very sweet lady. Who brought these to me? And she said, big fan of yours. And she said, Tammy, can you please give these to Crystal? Big fan of me? Yeah. From the mukbangs. So she said, one of them's mine, one of them's yours. I don't know which is which. I'm going to let you pick. And maybe we can put them in the, in the uh, Cheerio cabinet in the living room side by side. Because I think they go together. I already looked at them. You looked at them? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll okay. close mine. Close your eyes. Hold out your hand. There's one. Yeah, open, the, open the one first. All right, open her up. Show the camera. Look at it. Hold on, let me see what it says. It says bird feed, and it's got a little girl that looks like me feeding the birds. Because that's what Crystal does at home. She feeds all the birds. Love. Look, you can even put bird feed in there. I bet that's worth a lot of money. I can't I bet it, 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 it. Look at it. Now, uh, you know she paid good money for that. Does it look like me? It wasn't your little girl. Okay, here's the second one. Here you go. Open. Her brother. And <laughs> guess who it looks like? He's got a little bird on his head. Who? You! Look at that little round face with the red cheeks and the blonde hair. I cannot Let's believe... Let's do a thumbnail with these. I can't believe somebody gave these to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that is really... Well, thank you to that fan. That is really cute. Yeah. And look. And look. The little boy's bigger, like me, me and you. Oh, we got we got put the, we got put that on the Cheerio cabinet side by side. Isn't that cute. I thought they were adorable. What's he hold it? Strap on. Oh, one of those little rock things. One of those little. That you, oh, uh, uh, that you, that you uh. You thought it was a strap? Well, it may be a strap on. What is that thing called? That you put rocks in? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> what right. is that damn thing called? Slingshot. Slingshot. Remember when you had that slingshot when you was little and you accidentally uh, huh. shot little Gerald's eye out? Yeah, my ass got uh, in trouble for that. And that wasn't even my fault. 
But he did lose his eye. Well, he used to come around there and, you know, be sniffing around Tammy. I'd say, get out of here. That's what he gets. That's what I thought. <laughs> an eye for an eye. Exactly. Here's my cream corn. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. That is fresh. I thought that it may be cream corn from the can. It's not. That's fresh corn. Well, it said real cream corn up there. This needs a little salt, but flavor is excellent. There's a little salt in Ooh. here. Oh yeah, my little packet. Let's put some salt on it. Cause it's real sweet <clears throat> and it just needs a needs a counter kick. <laughs> Dump a little too much on there. Mmm. That do it? Yep. Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Mmm. Well, damn, let me see if we got any more questions. Food's all about eight. Let me see if I got some more food. Okay. Oh. People keep asking us, uh, where, what city are we most excited to tour? Mm. Well, we've never done a show in New York City, so we're excited about that. Excited to go back to Florida. We're going to be in West Palm Beach. Some of the best shows we had last year was in West Palm Beach. So we're excited to come back. Uh, I'm excited about Boston. Yeah, we've never been to Boston. I've never been to Boston. It's the home of the new kids on the block. She loves new kids on the Every block. Every last one of them. Step by step. Ooh, baby. baby. Gonna Wanna get to you, you girl. girl. She loves new kids. Do you know all the steps? Step one. We can have lots of fun. Step two. It's just me and you. Step three. I don't know, Crystal. I can't damn think of it right now either. You gotta be in the group singing the song. Just you and me. Step four. I could give you more. Step yeah. five. Don't you know that it's the time of our life? Yeah. Ooh. That's a great song. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Crystal, this is just to you, Crystal. That is, yeah. Crystal, what's one thing that turns you off in the bedroom? Oh, not much. <laughs> I think it's when you're getting down to it real dirty, and then he says, oh, Sheila. And they say somebody else's name. Yeah, that's a big turn off. And I tried to ignore it and say, my name is Crystal. Yeah. I said, like, shut up, Sheila, close your mouth. Which oh. I like a dominance. Mm -hmm. But I don't like a dominance with the wrong name. Right. That's about it. Got to get the name right. You're not wrong on that. Maybe foot odor. I don't like a, a bad foot odor. Yeah. If it smells like a cat has urinated on your foot, poured ranch dressing. I'm leaving. And Parmesan cheese. I'm leaving. My ass is gone. With as many foot odor products are out there, take care of your foot odor. Okay. Let's answer one more question. Dang, they, call, they asked a lot of questions they did. today. Tammy, Crystal, should a man shave his asshole or leave it natural? Great question. Well, think about how considerate is the man? Does he have someone eating his ass? Does he give a fuck if his partner is down there putting his tongue on a braille pad? Mm -hmm. If he's considerate, he'll shave it. If he's an asshole, he'll leave it hairy. Now, if nobody's eating it, then it's just whatever the guy wants to do. It don't matter to me. Ain't nobody going to be down there. Would you agree? I would agree. People should do whatever they want with it. 
I'm a fan of hair because I grew up in an age where hair was very uh, popular. Yeah. All the magazines and stuff, you'd have full bush. Yeah. And I like that. I like a man that looks like a werewolf, Bigfoot, mm -hmm. Tom Selleck, all wrapped in one. So when you're down there eating ass, you don't mind? Oh, I don't mind a little hair. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't. <laughs> I'm just being honest. As long as he's clean. If he's got dingleberries, no, then I don't want. That's a whole. Do it. That's a whole other thing. And that's what we're here to talk about: the hard hitting stuff, the real life stuff. So you guys keep putting in questions. We'll keep answering them. Okay. You guys keep watching these mug bangs. We're gonna keep doing them, and we're gonna go do one uh, probably tomorrow or the next day, sometime soon, for Crystal's channel. So go and put her. Uh, It's, it'll just look under crystal. I'm going to put it down below somewhere. Yeah. And go find her. Okay? We got some mukbangs over there. And come see us on tour. I booked all these damn shows. And I'm going to feel real fucking dumb if nobody shows up. They'll show up. I ain't seen nobody not show up yet. And if you've been to a Tammy Crystal show, comment down below and let everybody, and let everybody know how what kind of fun you had so it'll make them want to go okay all right crystal hey uh, barbecue was great i will be back can i say one thing about yeah. the shows sometimes people say y'all's prices really went up well you're looking on a pirate site look on her site you're right if you get a ticket from somewhere else and it's a hundred dollars that's too much because she don't charge that much no i she don't she ain't that greedy Thank you for bringing that up. I had someone message me two days ago on Instagram. Say, Tammy, me and my boyfriend love you. We have your calendar. We we love you so much. We support you. We really want to come to the, I think it was the Ohio show. The Dayton, Ohio show. We really want to come to the Ohio show, but the prices are outrageous. And I said, outrageous. I go, How, where are you looking at? She was looking at $200 tickets. From some website. Scammers. I said, I said, no, ma'am. You go to my website, eatmytrash.com. They start at $25. So back in the day when we would go to concerts, there'd be men outside. I got tickets for you. That's the same thing, but it's online. Yeah. It's a, called a scalper. Yep. And they're getting you. Don't get got. Don't get got. Go to my website. Because she don't get that extra money. Hell no. That motherfucker's making it. Don't, don't. Why pay $200 when you can pay $25? And she gets it. Now make that make sense. Anyway, we guys, uh, we love you. Okay? And we'll see you on the next mukbang. Goodbye. Bye.